welcome back. My name is Britton and I have a channel where I like to share videos about sewing, gardening, and homeschool, my three passions and hobbies. So in this video today, I'm sharing the process that I um, made, took <laughs> to recover the cushions from our pop-up camper. We have a really fun pop-up camper that I'm so excited to take out this spring and summer um, to just go camping and explore our area. And it's a little bit dated, so of course I wanted to take the opportunity to just cover the cushions and make some updates in there while it was still sort of these cooler winter months. So um, yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna share how I covered one of the cushions. I have mm, four more to do, maybe five. Um, so we're just gonna do one of them today. All right, let's get started. Okay, so what I'm doing first is just trying to figure out how much fabric I'm gonna need for this first cushion. Um, real attractive looking here. So I am wrapping it kind of pretty well because I don't want there to be any of this showing um, at all. And I want to have both sides kind of overlap on it, like this probably. So I'm going a little over halfway here and then I'm just gonna eyeball the, on the pattern of the fabric where I could cut um, in order to have like a good amount wrapping over this cushion. So I'm gonna do that right now. I can definitely say that I like it better already. <laughs> Okay, another day in the sewing room, the very next day. Um, so what I did was I turned under the edge of this fabric twice so that when it was um, covering my cushion, the thread or the fabric wouldn't unravel. So now I'm going to kind of go maybe three quarters up here on the inside and oops, you know what? I need to do it right side in, so inside out, because what I'm going to do now is sew up the inside edge. Someday I would love a better filming situation for sharing these types of projects, but right now we're just gonna work with what we've got, right? So I'm going to fold these guys up and then I'm going to pin this nice and taut. So let me do that really quick right now. Okay, so I pinned along this edge here so that the fabric would be nice and tight around this cushion. And I don't think I mentioned it before, but I'm doing it this way because I wanna make sort of how you would have a pillowcase essentially. I just don't wanna to have to do a zipper. So this is sort of a no zipper cushion covering situation. So now I'm going to just find the, moving my mug, I'm going to find sort of the center of this cushion and just take a big, I guess, bite out of that fabric to create a horizontal seam going this way. And then I'm gonna slip it off of the cushion and sew it up. Okay, coming back on here to say that once I slipped it off, I found that I had pinned it really evenly along that edge there, but it wasn't as even on this side here. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this edge here, which it looks like it's about three inches across, and just kind of unpin and refold and pin again at three inches and then sew right, right here just so I can make sure that it's like as neat and accurate and tight as possible. 
Okay, so I did that horizontal seam here. I'm gonna finish this and then I'm going to pinch this corner right there and sew a vertical seam right here to create a, a like box basically. Um, so that is next and I will finish that seam as well and then put the cushion in and see how it fits. Okay, cool. So for the most part, this is fitting. I think that I'll need to do the other end super tight so that this will fit around this corner a little bit tighter. But you can see I've got kind of a box shape here. And you can also see that this is the opening where I will be able to slip the pillow in and out. Um, but yeah, I just love this fabric so much and I think it's gonna be really beautiful in the camper. So now I will need to do the next side. All right, and here is my finished cushion. Both sides turned out great. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And then on the back, it has a nice little fold with the edges encased, and it'll be easy to slip it on and off. And then next I will just, once I finish all the cushions, I'll probably do some Scotch Guard just so that we can keep them nice and clean and looking fresh all the time when we are in our camper. So yeah, happy with that. <laughs> 